gonna explain all the different modes to you! It's time to end this. This battle. And all the battles we've had until now! Hey! Pervy Sage. <sighs> Looks like you were sleeping well. <laughs> I guess I was pretty tired. However, it seems like your training went well. <laughs> You've managed to keep up with whatever I've thrown at you lately. <laughs> yeah, I really had some trouble at first, though. I think you might be ready to proceed to the next step. Next step? Huh? Wh what is it? Some new kind of training? Here. What's this? Rare beads? Right. First put these around each of your arms and legs. What kind of training is this, anyway? Hey, slow down! Sealing Jutsu! Four Limbs Waiting Seal! <laughs> Finished. So like I said, what kind of training is this- oh! What's going on? Whoa, this is really heavy! All right, all right, quit flapping your gums already. I just added weight to those prayer beads using jutsu. Of course, not just any weight. Yeah, it sure is heavy, but what kind of training am I gonna do like this? 
Nothing special. Just keep doing what you've been doing. That will be your training. And now, as you gain a certain amount of power, the color of those beads will change. Eventually, they'll turn red to signify the end of your training. Red? When they glow red, come find me and I'll take them off. And once the weight comes off... What? What'll happen to me? You'll be exponentially more powerful than you are now! Oh! Sweet! I can't wait to get started! Huh. I guess that's all I need to explain for now. Let's keep moving forward. There should be a village around here somewhere. We'll head there for now. All right, I'm gonna give it my best shot. Ugh, these things are pretty heavy. This is Tree Felling Village. There's a cave where you can mine high-quality crystals. Wow! Clash with the Black Shadow! The bond between parent and child! Huh? I hear noises coming from up ahead. So do I. Let's go check it out, Pervy Sage. Counting on you, Aoi. Don't worry. Focus on what you've got to do. You must fulfill your mission. I know. Hmm? What's going on here? This is... It's a ritual. A human sacrifice. Close to this village. <coughs> Are you okay? You seem like you have a cold or something. <coughs> I'm fine, thank you. Don't worry. I'm just a little under the weather. Yeah, well, I hope you're okay. Um, anyway, what's this human ritual thing or whatever? It's a ceremony to offer human sacrifices to a demon living in the mountains here. Oh, you know about this too, Pervy Sage? It's pretty common knowledge, actually. He's right. And the girl there... <coughs> she's to be sacrificed in that cave. Hold on! Wait just a second! Sacrifice? So you mean... that girl over there? It's a one-way trip. Her duty is to forfeit her life to appease the demon. Now hold on just a second! 
What's up with that guy? Hey, that headband. Who are you? My name is Naruto Uzumaki. I'm a ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village. I knew he was from the Leaf. But why is a ninja from the Leaf Village here? Do you Leaf Ninja have something you wish to speak to me about? Stop all this nonsense! You know sacrificing yourself won't change anything? There has to be another way! Don't go throwing your life away! Don't speak to me about what I must do. What? Hey! I have my own path I must follow. Don't try to get in my way. I have my own path to follow now. Goodness, that was close. But the ritual was completed. The village can rest easy now. All right, everyone. That's all for today. Boy, you shouldn't be jumping into things willy-nilly like that, you know? Yeah, but a human sacrifice? Come on, that's crazy! There is no other way. <coughs> no other way? This village survives by selling the crystals it mines from that cave down there. But a few centuries ago, a demon called Black Shadow started attacking folk here. Black Shadow? I see. So that's where this grisly ritual originated. Yes. The village chief then couldn't risk their only source of prosperity, the crystals. So according to legend, he offered Black Shadow a living sacrifice to pacify the demon. Every offering buys the village several years of peace, allowing us to prosper for a while. So there's no other choice? It's not true happiness at all. Someone must be sad that girl is gone now, right? You people are all okay with that? <laughs> I'm gonna bring her back, and I'll take care of this black shadow while I'm at it! Pervy Sage, I'll be back, okay? Sit tight! Naruto, wait! Oh, good grief. <laughs> so this is the crystal cave they were talking about. This place is amazing. I can't waste any time sightseeing, though. All right, gotta keep moving. Ah! <laughs> 
What the heck was that, anyway? Well, for now, I'll just have to stay on my toes and keep moving. I'm here to take you back! Don't make me repeat myself. I have my own way and destiny. Your father and mother, they're worried about you! Everyone's worried about you! You shouldn't just blurt things out like that. What? My father... He passed away a long time ago. And now... My mother... She's about to leave this world, too. Wait! Hold on a second! What do you mean she's about to leave this world?! Uh-oh! Looks like I've gotta take care of these guys first! Waste of time. you to wait! How long do you plan to follow me around for? Till you agree to come back with me! You're wasting your time. Why are you so hard-headed? Do you want to die that badly? You just said your mom's still alive, right? Shouldn't you be at her side then? No, she must be worried sick about you! You don't... You don't know anything about me! What? And yet you come waltzing in like you know everything! What are you talking about? <laughs> I said, what are you talking about?
Süßes. What good is staring so hard at that branch gonna do? This is not going to work. Hey! Don't follow me. Wait! Don't give up your life for this! There must be a way to save the village without having to offer you up as a sacrifice! I'm not thinking of being a sacrifice at all. Wait up for a second! That's as far as you go. What? What's this? Take this wall down with my Rasengan! I know. I'll definitely stop her this time. I swear I will. There's no way this little wall is gonna stop me. You think I'm gonna give up this easily? It's blowing. That means... Eventually, you will turn red to signify the end of your dream. When they glow red, come find me and take them off. And once the weight comes off... They're glowing red! That means my training is complete! If I get Pervy Sage to take these beads off, I'll be able to break down this wall easy! Alright, now to get back to Pervy Sage! the branch that girl was staring at earlier. This is not going to work. Maybe I should get Pervy Sage to check out this branch while I'm back there too. Wait for me. I'll be right back. Oh, you're back just in time. <sighs> Pervy Sage, look at this! This means my training is complete, right? Hurry up and take these things off! Okay, but before that, I need you to help me out with an urgent task. Huh? But I'm in a hurry, too! Just listen. This involves that girl from the ritual, too. Don't worry. It's... it's about her, too? What are you talking about? You remember that young woman we met before you went into the cave, right? Y young woman? Uh... 
It's a ritual, a human sacrifice. There is no other way. <coughs> oh yeah! That lady with the cold and the lucky charm around her neck, right? Yes, I want you to find her. Her? Why? I'll explain later. Just go find her as quickly as you can. Understood. Don't worry, Pervy Sage. I'm on it. You search inside the village. I'll go look around the outskirts. Okay. I guess I'll talk to some of the locals and gather some information. Excuse me, have you seen a woman around here wearing a lucky charm around her neck? Nope, sure haven't, Sunny. Man, if I don't hurry, she'll just keep going deeper into that cave. Into the cave? Oh, you must be that ninja from the leaf who busted in on the ritual earlier, eh? I can't just stand by and let such a terrible ritual go on. She's a good girl, you know. Huh? She's been to the village quite a lot recently. I remember her quite well. What? So you mean, she's not even from this village? I can't be sure, but it always seemed like she was coming from outside the village. Hmm. She was always so bright and cheerful, though. Everyone in the village liked her. Then, out of nowhere, she said she'd go into the cave as a human sacrifice. What? It was her decision? Of course. I was just as surprised as you are. Hello. How can I help you? Please come back any time. Lucky charm around her neck? No, nope, sure haven't. By the way, why are you so blue anyway? Well, long before this village was around, there was a giant tree of life here. As the story goes, the leaves from that tree could cure all kinds of sickness. The village probably could have made more through healing than with crystals. Hmm. Our ancestors sure were dumb. We all could have been well off without having to work at all. I've heard the land here was rich with natural beauty before this village was built. And there was a clan that protected nature. Or so my grandmother used to tell me. It's not like we didn't try to stand up to Black Shadow. A long, long time ago, our ancestors took up arms to defeat Black Shadow. sell crystals now because of Black Shadow. I hope the ritual ends soon. Um, excuse me, have you seen a woman around here with a cold? Someone with a cold? Nope, sorry. Oh, okay, thanks. Sorry I couldn't be of more help to you. Oh, hey, uh, one other question. What's this big stump here? I've been wondering all day. This is what's left of the Tree of Life, a huge tree that far predated the village. The Tree of Life? Yes, it was enormous and surrounded by flowers. It said it was quite beautiful. 
Wow, I can't even imagine. Me either. It was all cut down when the village was built. Not much left now. What are you doing here anyway? Aren't you afraid Black Shadow might attack? I was researching Black Shadow, actually. Researching him? Who are you anyway? I'm an assistant to an historian. I came here to study this village's history. Wow, <laughs> sounds like cool work. So, did you learn anything about Black Shadow? Well, according to legend, Black Shadow was in that cave before the village was built. Hmm. But the Tree of Life and all the flowers in front of the cave kept the demon at bay. Interesting. I wonder why that kept him trapped in there. Well, some say that Black Shadow was vulnerable to the smell of those flowers. Really? So maybe if I had a bunch of flowers, then I could defeat this thing? Well, not exactly. Why not? The only flowers Black Shadow was vulnerable to were the ones around the Tree of Life. Most likely, it was the fragrance of those flowers in particular that repelled the demon. Ah. If you want to know more about the history of this village, you should go meet my teacher. He should be somewhere around the entrance to the village. Okay, I'll go talk to him. Ugh, I'm never gonna find that woman. I guess I just have to talk to anyone I haven't spoken to already. I doing all the research around here? Hmm? Who are you? I talked to your assistant. She told me you knew all about the history of this village. Oh, a seeker of knowledge, eh? I heard Black Shadow can't bear the smell of a certain flower. Do you know it? Ah, uh, yes. It blocked the way to the Crystal Cave, so the villagers cut the tree down. Huh? No, no, I'm not talking about the tree. I want to know about the flowers around it. <laughs> You'd think they were unrelated, wouldn't you? But they share a very close link. What do you mean? The flowers only grew there because of nutrients given them by the Tree of Life. Once the tree was cut down, the flowers withered away, robbed of all nourishment. When the flowers died, Black Shadow was released from his prison. So that means that... By cutting down the tree to gain easier access to the cave, they awakened something that would bring them far graver troubles. It's quite ironic, really. Excuse me, have you seen a woman with a pretty bad cold around here? A cold? Oh, maybe you mean Tsubaki. Tsubaki? Oh, so that's her name. Tsubaki used to come shopping here all the time, except... Except what? A few months ago, she came down with an incurable illness. Incurable? So you mean she'll never get better? Maybe not. I think she's in pretty bad shape. Not sure how much longer she has. Are you serious? I can't believe it. Yeah, it's too bad, really. Do you happen to know where this Tsubaki woman lives? Sorry, I don't have any idea. Oh, okay. But the village chief might know. You should ask him if you see him. Got it. Thanks, pal. She was willing to give her life Can't even sell crystals now. Hey, Pops, you mind if I ask you something? Hmm. Heard you've been poking about. I assume this is about Tsubaki. Yeah. Do you know where she is? I've looked all over the village, but I can't find her. Naturally, because she isn't from this village. She doesn't live here. Huh? Well, where does she live then? Tsubaki lives a ways out from here, deep within the forest of delusion. She lives in a forest? Why? Tsubaki's ancestors lived with the Tree of Life. Our ancestors tore it down. Got it. The 
forest of delusion, huh? I wouldn't be too keen to go in there. It's full of fog. It truly is a forest of delusion. I don't care. I can't give up now. She's waiting for me in that cave. What's up with this fog? I have to be careful not to get lost in here. Remember me? Oh, <coughs> you're that boy I met at the village. <coughs> Tsubaki, that's your name, right? Yes, but how do you know my name? That's not all I know. I heard a lot about you from the villagers. About me? How you're descended from the people who lived in these parts a long time ago. And... About your illness. It's difficult to cure. Hmm. You really did your homework, kid. Herbie Sage! <coughs> Why exactly have you sought me out here? Oh, yeah. Why were you looking for her anyway, Pervy Sage? Huh. I think that should be pretty obvious. Remember that girl, Aoi? You're looking at her mother. Huh? Are you serious? <coughs> how... how do you know that? I couldn't help thinking about Aoi sacrificing herself, so I started sniffing around too. How could you do this? Huh? You just sit here and let your own daughter kill herself? Why don't you go after her? Your own child is sacrificing herself, and you do nothing? Her clock is running out! How can you just sit here knowing what your daughter is doing right now? She's in that cave right now, all alone! 
Naruto, calm down. She has her reasons. What reasons? You almost hit on it yourself. Tsubaki has an incurable disease. <sighs> her body is already on the brink. It's a miracle she can still move at all. Is it really that bad? You have to realize, no one wants to help Aoi more than her own mother. But in this condition, all she could do was sit back and watch. It must have been really painful for you. Aoi was such a good girl. Even after losing her father, she was always cheerful. She never complained about living here. Always helped out. Always had a smile on. But as soon as she found out I was sick and there was no cure, she completely changed. She spent almost all of her time in the village. And then... The ritual. She volunteered herself to become the human sacrifice, right? Yes. I still don't know why she would do such a thing. I just don't understand it. Apparently, there was a reason why Aoi started spending most of her time in the village. Huh? She was asking about the link between the Tree of Life and Black Shadow. The Tree of Life and Black Shadow? Hey, that's right! The demon only showed up after the flowers withered away! Black Shadow couldn't stand the smell of the flowers near the Tree of Life, right? Actually, there's more to it than that. What do you mean? I think Tsubaki already knows, having descended from those who lived alongside it. But the demon devoured the remains of the tree to put an end to those flowers forever. You mean it ate the tree? Yes. Its one natural enemy was destroyed, and in the process it acquired the tree's power. I see. <coughs> but what does that have to do with Aoi? Yeah, I don't get it either. So Black Shadow ate the Tree of Life, but what does that have to do with Aoi? Just calm down for a second and listen. I'm about to tell you the important part. Naruto, have you heard what power the leaves of the Tree of Life had? Huh? Of course I know! It could heal any type of sickness, right? Exactly. Even those which are otherwise incurable. See what I'm getting at? <laughs> That's one hypothesis anyway. If it's true, that would explain Aoi's actions. I don't get it. Well, we know Black Shadow absorbed the Tree of Life and its healing properties. And we know that Aoi started looking into them both only after Tsubaki took ill. Those two facts taken together lead me to believe that... <coughs> no way. See where I'm headed? Aoi had no intention of giving herself to Black Shadow at all. She volunteered so she could enter the cave and retrieve the Tree of Life. Whoa. Perhaps. It's a theory at best. There's no proof of the link between Black Shadow and the tree. No. I think you're probably right on the money, Pervy Sage. What do you mean, Naruto? I found this on the ground in that cave. I think it might tie into your theory. It's... this is... a withered branch of the Tree of Life. You can tell that just by looking? Hmm. Well, it's in your blood, I suppose. This must mean that Black Shadow is using the power of the Tree of Life. Which proves they must be related, right? Hmm. I think you're probably right, Naruto. Wait, so that means that she's trying to... The Tree of Life is inside Black Shadow. So Aoi entered the cave to get some leaves from that tree. This much we know. All this, so she could cure her mother. I wanted to spend my last days with her. She was the only joy I had left anymore. But Aoi, she wants you to spend all your days with her. That would be the real joy. Anyway. Release! Oh, whoa! My body's really light! Go, Naruto, and bring her back with you, no matter what. <laughs> no problem! <coughs> Tsubaki! Oh no, the sickness is getting worse! <sighs>
<laughs> Hang in there. Naruto, hurry to Aoi as fast as you can. I'll stay here and take care of Subaki. Okay. Take good care of her, pervy sage. <laughs> Wait. Here. Take this. This was handed down in my family for generations. I know it will protect her. I got it. I'll make sure she gets it. I promise. Please. <coughs> Take care of her. Please. So you're going in after Aoi after all? Shinobi of the Hidden Leaf, listen to me. Huh. Don't bother telling me to stop. I can't. I have to do this. I always suspected this day would come. That someone like you would appear and try to put an end to that ritual. When you think about it, this village has been carrying a heavy burden for many years. We cut down the Tree of Life and offer sacrifices to protect ourselves from Black Shadow. I think the people of the village know it as well. That was not the path to happiness. It's okay. As chief of this village, I can't really allow you to do what you are about to do. But I am not the chief today. I'm just a simple old man. Good luck to you, lad. All right. I'll show you just what I can do. Owie, Black Shadow, all of it. I'm gonna fix everything. I swear I will. This time, this time I'll definitely put an end to it! Wait for me, Aoi! will be no match for my Rasengan this time! <laughs> I did it! All right, I'll be right there, Aoi! Again. But how do you know my name? I know more than that. I found out all about you. Like what? You looked into Black Shadow and the Tree of Life to save your mother. I also found out that you volunteered to be the latest sacrifice. <sighs> I heard a lot of stuff from a lot of people, and it finally all made sense. You're going after Black Shadow not as a sacrifice, but to save your mother. Uh. Your mom, she was so worried about you. She kept asking me to save you. She cares about you so much. I thought I told you not to do anything too crazy. Uh. What? What do you expect me to do? I don't want my mom to die. I didn't know what else to do. She was totally fine up until recently, always smiling and laughing. Then, the sickness comes and tries to take her away from me. You expect me to just sit and watch as she slowly leaves me? Because I can't do that! I already 
lost my father. I don't want to lose my mother, too. I... Aoi. I love her. I love her with all my heart. I want to be with her. Forever. I want to be by her. That's why... <sighs> Look. Everyone knows exactly how you feel. But you don't have to sacrifice yourself for this. the rest up to me. But... why? Why would you do all this for someone you don't even know? Huh? <laughs> I just wanted to see you and your mom smiling, together again. Me... and my mom... together? Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, your mom told me to give you this. This is the charm my mom always wore. She said it would protect you. Hold on to it, and wait for me here. I'll get those leaves for you! I promise! Thank you. Mom, just hold on. Ha <laughs> ha! 
nothing! My attacks are useless! That's as far as you go. long ago. Come <laughs> on. 
life, but they're all wilted. It's okay. Finally decided to wake up, huh? Huh. Burby Sage. How long was I out for, anyway? Hmm. About a week, I think. Whoa. I've never slept that long before. <laughs> I guess even you were pretty tired after all of that. Ah! What? Don't scream like that! H How's Aoi? And her mom? Is she all right? Ah, uh, yes. Well... I can't just sit around here! I'll be back later, Pervy Sage! <sighs> the only time he's ever at ease is when he's asleep. medicine worked, you're still recovering. Okay, okay. It's just so boring not being able to get out and about. Mom, you never listen to me. You look surprised. Huh? Uh, yeah, no, it's just... Aoi was acting all weird, so I guess I thought... <laughs> Don't worry. That's not a spirit or a ghost or anything. She's fine. Thanks to you, Aoi, and the Tree of Life, she's well on her way to recovery. Although, it was a close call. <laughs> What's gotten into you, Naruto? <laughs> I'm just happy, that's all. You and your mom, together, healthy, I'm really happy everything worked out. Naruto... I can't thank you enough, Naruto, for saving me, and for saving Aoi. <laughs> no problem at all. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Hmm? Why is that? It doesn't matter how tough things are. If you never give up, your wishes will come true. When I saw how determined you were, 
gave me the strength to stop that monster. <laughs> well, I guess we should be moving on. Huh? What? Do you really have to leave already? Wait, before you go, let me give you something to show you our gratitude. That's okay. We can do that next time. Oh, come on, Pervy Sage. Let's relax here for a little while longer. My goal is to make you stronger. We don't have time to relax. Or do you not want to get any stronger? Hmm? Uh, um... Okay, I got it. <laughs> Good to know we're on the same page. Well, we'll be stopping by again sometime, I'm sure. Thanks again for everything! Take care! Oh, man. I don't see why we can't hang out here a little longer. Are you leaving? Yeah. I've got a lot of training to do. He's right. We have to get moving. It's okay, though. We'll be back. Promise? You can't break a promise, you know. You got it! All right, then. Take care, you two! You too, Naruto! Don't forget about our promise! Thanks! Okay! Let's get to training!